Hey everyone, welcome to devgenie.com. My name is Lemuel and this is the first video in our problem solving series. The first problem comes from projecteuler.net, which is a site containing hundreds of programming challenges and we're going to solve the first one. As you can see the title is multiples of 3 and 5 and we're asked to find the sum of all the multiples of 3 or 5 below 1000. Or we could rephrase that problem statement by saying that we want to find the sum of all numbers below 1000 that are divisible by 3 or 5. So we would write it as find the sum of all numbers below 1000 that are divisible by 3 or 5. <laughs> and how you rephrase the problem statement really doesn't matter. It's up to you. It's subjective. It's all about redefining the problem to ensure that you fully understand it and to help you write the pseudocode afterwards. And pseudocode is really important because it just really helps you to capture the logic of the problem uh, before you start writing the actual code. And we'll take a look here. I'll start the first line by creating a variable called total. And we'll use this total variable to store each element that is divisible by 3 or 5 and this will allow us to keep a sum of those numbers and return it to the console at the end of the program. Here we'll iterate on the second line over all numbers, all natural numbers below 1000 natural numbers because we're not interested in the negative numbers and on the third line we'll use an if statement to check to check check if uh, to check if each number each check if each natural number is divisible by three or five we can indent make it similar to actual code if it is then add the natural number to the total variable and finally we'll print print the total so since we're writing this in Ruby we can translate it in the following way let total equal zero well actually there is no let command in Ruby so we'll do total equals zero And we can actually use the times method in order to iterate over all numbers below 1000. Dot do, we can use that do. And then we can check. We can, what we'll do is we'll add, we'll actually pass a variable here. So that each number that we iterate over will be passed into the i variable. And we'll add that to the total variable if i is divisible by 3 or 5 All right so we've covered the second line the third line if it is then add the natural number to total which we do here and we're able to complete both line 2 well line 3 and 4 in one line and we'll end this out and we can print the total to the console. Okay, now that we've finished writing out our solution, let's test it out in the console. And our solution is 233,168, which is very similar to the answer that we've had up since the beginning of the video and the reasoning for that is because in this video I really wanted to just focus on thinking about how to solve the problem focusing on writing out the pseudocode in the correct way translating from pseudocode to actual code so what I like to do in the end uh, after I complete a programming challenge is uh, try to refactor the solution a little bit and I'm comfortable with the logic that we have so far but I do want to remove these do end keywords and place our logic inside of a 
a block here. You can actually put the logic on one line here. And that should simplify things a little bit better. And if we bring up our terminal, we can test to see if the solution will uh, be returned. And there it is, 233,168. Still matches our solution here, our answer on the side. And we're good to go. Thank you for watching.